want to see what, what you hit. <laughs> Can we get a, a shot of that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so... He's just, as you can see, there's a little bit closer. Targets. Uh, <laughs> I'm only kidding. Well, then you wouldn't be able to see him. <laughs> no, that was a good shot. Uh, and, and you planned Thank it you. like that, right? You, you, you're that good at it. I did. I did. I was right where I was aiming. <laughs> okay, perfect. All right, well, the next rifle I want to show you, um, this is a more traditional hunting rifle, uh, but just like the AR-15 I just showed you, it is a semi-automatic rifle, meaning I have to pull the trigger each time like you just saw. Now, this is a Browning 30-06 caliber semi-automatic rifle, and this is used more so in hunting. Uh, this is a popular round just because of its capabilities at long-range distances on big game in the U.S., so I will show you that one. There we go. That's the hunting rifle. <laughs> well, uh, you were a little um, off on that last shot, but that's okay. I, I know. I, I probably flinched just a little bit. A little Russian. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. The next uh, gun I want to show you, the firearm, this is a Beretta 12-gauge shotgun, and it is a semi-automatic, nice. just like the 30 6 and just like the AR-15. Uh, what I'm going to show you is two different shells. One is a slug and one is a waterfowl round. Now, keep in mind, this is something that I use in competition as well. I shoot a Benelli M2 12-gauge semi-automatic, and this is uh, it's good for hunting, uh, recreational shooting, and also um, uh, competitions like I do. So let me show you that real quick. As you can see, uh, we have some different sizes in uh, the calibers here. Uh, if you want, I can go down range and show these to you really quick. Um, now, the, the thing I want to show you, the 223, the big, bad, scary rifle, AR-15, this is the impact that the projectile made out of it. Uh, as you can see over here, we have the 30 out 6 It's obviously a lot bigger than the AR-15. The slug is a lot bigger than the 30 out 6 bigger than the AR-15. And then last are this pattern. I mean, you can see the difference. So yeah. uh, what I wanted to show you was that this is the least of your worries out of everything that I fired today. And this is what is trying. This is what they're trying to ban. So, so and, everything but the, but the, here. But the last gun you fired impact. was not mentioned in the ban. I'm sorry. Is the last gun that you mentioned was not mentioned in the ban? Correct. The one that did well, the big. Well, it is a semi-automatic. Right. Yeah. Correct. Correct. The, the shotgun was not mentioned in the ban, and this is the damage it does as compared to the AR-15, uh, AR 223 round, which is trying to be banned. Do you have a quick chance to show us the 9mm semi-automatic pistol? I do, I do. Right. I can do that really quick. Okay. Uh, what I have to show you is I have a Browning High Power semi-automatic 9mm, uh, and uh, this is it's a very popular uh, handgun around the world, and I will show you um, just what the, the caliber does itself. Just a little bit bigger. Just a little bit. You can see that one. And I can show you this 45 as well. Um, this is a Colt 1911. It's a semi-automatic mm, semi I love 1911s. Well. And I use this in competition. It got its name because it was designed in 1911. Five, uh, 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 100 years ago. <laughs> and it's still, this is what I use today. On you, not Bo Deedle. Uh, <laughs> that's great shooting. But uh, as you can see, one last question before I let you go. Um, a lot of people hear these names and hear semi-automatic. They're they're really afraid of them. And there are so many weapons that you're what you're really saying is there's no method, logic, reason to what it is that they're banning. Is that a fair statement? I believe that would be a fair statement. Um, the, the things that you spoke about earlier with Asa Hutchinson, it's all cosmetics. It has no bearing on the firing, the functioning of an AR-15. And it's strictly uh, for me to help me through competition. It doesn't make it big, bad, or scary, or worse than one without those features. So I believe that is a fair statement. All right, Jesse, very, very informative. You're a great shot, and uh, uh, I look Thank forward to the bet with Paul. Thank you for being with us.